Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. In this video, let me show you how to create custom folder icons for your Mac using Pixelmator Pro. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. Now in a previous video I showed you how you can create a custom icon for a folder like this one using just the apps on your Mac. So mostly you're using Preview. But if you have an image editing app you can certainly create one in that. So for instance if you have Pixelmator Pro then you can use that. So let's say we want to start from scratch. In Pixelmator Pro I'll go create a new document and I can create one that's a width of 1024, height of 1024. You can actually look through the templates and under Iconography they actually have some icon templates here. These are really meant for app developers but you could certainly use them. So they have a Mac app icon here. 1024 by 1024 you can use that if you want. So now you have this nice square icon and you can now draw in here and create your own icon. If you want to start with the folder as the background you're going to have to do a little bit more work here because it's not as simple as selecting the folder there doing Command I selecting the icon doing Command C and then trying to paste it into Pixelmator Pro. It won't work. You can't actually paste it in. It doesn't recognize the icon in the clipboard as an image. However, you can use Preview as a go-between. So I'm going to run Preview and then say File New from Clipboard. I have the icon. You can see all the different sizes here on the left. But I'm going to select the first size. Then I'm going to copy that. And then I can close the preview file there. I don't need that anymore. Go back to Pixelmator Pro and now I can paste that in because that's a normal image. I copied the normal image out of the icon using preview. Now when I paste it in I can see I've got this folder. Now I also have a background layer. Uh, if you end up with that you're going to want to delete it. So I'm going to control click on it and delete it. So now it's transparent. So now I have a folder that I could start with as the background. Now let's play with the color of this folder. I'm going to go to Tools and then Color Adjustments. And this will bring up the controls here and now I can change the color. If I click Add here at the top there are a bunch of different things that I can do to change the color. Let me use Color Monochrome and that will allow me then to set the color here. I can click in there, look at the Color Chooser and choose from a variety of different colors in a variety of different ways. So for instance I could set it to be a orange there. This looks a little more yellow than orange but you can just keep playing with it to get what you want. Now let's add some sort of symbol. We've got a text tool here. I can click on that and I can click in here to start typing text. So I can just select here and type a letter. Let's go and make it a little bit bigger so something like 500 point and then I could center it. I can select in there and I can use Control Command Space and select an emoji, a symbol like that on it. And now I'm ready to go. I could also just use a shape. So there are a variety of shape tools in here. You could see I've got star, line, custom shape, all sorts of things. So I can try for the custom shape in there. And you can see I have a bunch of different ones. So let me go and select a notebook shape here. Stick that in there. I can enlarge it or change how it looks. I can certainly go ahead and change its color and do something like that. And now I've got something I can use as a folder. Now the trick here is you want to select all of the layers. If I just were to copy now I'd only be copying this symbol and not both the folder and the symbol. But you can go to Arrange and then Merge All and it will merge it all into one layer. And then if you do Edit Copy it will copy the entire thing. Now I can hide Pixelmator Pro, click on the icon there again and do Command V and we'll paste it in and you can see I have a custom folder icon. So check out the other video I mentioned to see some problems with this and how to get around them, how to set the icon for the drive and some other options as well. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.